From your most watched, most trusted weather source, here's your certified, most accurate first alert forecast. We'll start off Wednesday with some showers, but I think the system next week continues to probably be not just a heavier rain event, but maybe our better chance for rain over the next 10 days as we see a stronger system move out of the Rockies. That's going to head towards the Gulf Coast and really not much has changed since what we were talking about yesterday's system to our southwest. That brings the moisture. Cold air will try to wrap around this stronger area of low pressure, but I just think it's too far off to the east. We would need that to back towards portions of the coast towards the northeast New England that would allow that cold air on the back edge to be sent a little bit further to the south kind of show you what we're talking about still a week away so some of these positions of these lows can change but notice the heavier the rain may be down more into South Carolina and Georgia anyway but we can see that precipitation makes it up to the north this is Tuesday morning we have just enough cold air for maybe that freezing line which is this kind of pink purple line to drop far enough south where it's just a close call I think it's just going to be some cold rain unless we get a better surge of colder air. If we could get this system to back off to the west a little bit, maybe we're talking more than just a cold rain. You know, even if we're at 32 for an hour or two Tuesday morning, that's really not going to do anything other than maybe just make us have to watch for a few slick spots. So right now, nothing too exciting for snow lovers, but can't count that system out. We'll continue to watch it and I think we'll have more systems as we head throughout February that take this route with maybe better cold air support for tonight. Rain showers move in after midnight. Most of that rain right now kind of right over some of the higher elevations of North Carolina and that continues to push our direction. Sky's still clear for us, so I think really you don't see that cloud cover really thicken up until we start to get past midnight. See the rain holds off until maybe 3 a.m. for I-95 counties. The heavier rain expected to miss us and stay off the coast of the Outer Banks. But what showers we do get will be enough for the rain gear in the morning and just kind of get Wednesday off to a little bit of a wet, not as fun start to the day when it's cloudy, raining and cold too. Temperature is going to be right there around 40 degrees. So another cold rain. But the good news is the rain really fizzles out as we approach lunchtime. Just a few small showers left over. Could even see a few glimpses of sunshine as we head throughout the afternoon. Looking out from Moorhead City, still see a little bit of light there off in the distance. Water's looking very calm. Traffic moving along just fine there over the Noose River. As far as temperatures go, we did make it into the 50s in some spots. A lot of our northern counties with winds coming off the water stayed in the 40s today. Temperatures tonight not going to be as cold, though. We're not really going to see those freezing temperatures we woke up to in some spots this morning. We will be in the 30s, just several degrees above freezing. So another little small cold rain coming. I think next Monday and Tuesday's rain could be a little more widespread, could give us a little bit better amounts. Notice by lunchtime tomorrow, rain chances down at 20%. Maybe a shower lingering into the afternoon on the coast. Winds out the north may start to get a little breezy by the afternoon. And we're expecting rainfall amounts. I don't think anyone sees a quarter of an inch. A lot of us will struggle to even get a tenth of an inch of rain in the morning. So even though it's going to be wet, it's just not an all day thing. Things clear out and then we get some nice weather in before that system arrives next week. You kind of see what I'm talking about 40 down 50, but that 34 Tuesday morning, if we still have some precipitation around, you know, it's going to be close, but just not what a lot of the winter lovers want. They don't just want, you know, a close call. They right. want, you know, at least an inch or two of 